In this example, we're going to do a simple template transition between a template with two lanes and a template with two lanes plus an auxiliary lane. And to do that, I'm going to go to template drops and drop another template. Now I want to transition between stations 200 and 300, so the first thing I'm going to do is drop this two lane template again at station 200. and hit add and that will cause that constant template to be placed from the beginning to station 200 and then I want to transition and I want my new template to be placed at 300. Okay, So as soon as I hit add and close I'll see the transition graphic in plan view. Yellow means that not all the points are mapped, it means that just some of them are mapped just based off of their name. If I double click on that transition graphic it takes me into the edit transition midpoint. One thing I can do is right click and move my templates around to look at how they are transitioning. If I want my auxiliary lane to grow off the end, what I'll do is I'll click on the bold point and drag my line into the points I want to connect up. Uh, if that's how I want my, transit, my lane to transition in, I can leave that. If I want to change how it's transitioning, for example, I can grab, delete the current lines and uh, create new ones, create a new transition. So in this case, I'm going to have an auxiliary lane basically growing out of the center line. So when I say OK on this first part after the points are mapped, the second step is going to be to uh, edit the constraints. And I have a reminder that comes up that tells me I have to edit those constraints. For example, when I move my transition slider bar across the bottom, I see no transition there. And that's because these points are fully constrained. And if you recall, I have my transitioning uh, lane growing out of the middle. So I'm not going to delete these constraints on the side. I'm going to actually just delete this one horizontal constraint here. And I'm going to say delete horizontal constraint. And now when I move my slider bar, I'll see my auxiliary lane growing out of the middle. I like that transition, so I'm going to hit OK. The transition is mapped now, so as I step through on the roadway designer, I can see my auxiliary lane transition as defined.